Hey, hey friends. So I had a specific request today to talk about food storage for the Myers family because I often make reference when I'm showing you guys on Instagram stories and on social media, my bulk food, I always get questions, well, how are you storing that? So I wanna to talk today a little bit about my five gallon buckets and then I'm gonna actually go downstairs and show you guys. So for years, I have stored a lot of our bulk food in five gallon food grade buckets with gamma seal lids. G-A-M-M-A. -M -M -A. So I actually purchased my Gamma Silids from the Bread Beckers, but I've also seen them at Lowe's. I've seen them on Amazon. You can find them in several different locations, but I'll show you how they work downstairs. They literally are a lid that goes on a bucket. You hammer it in, and then it creates a seal, so nothing gets, <laughs> nothing gets out, um, which I'll explain later. And then you just tighten it down till it catches, and then you're good to go, and it becomes airtight. So the reason that I like to purchase in bulk for grains is because um, things, hard, uh, grain that you grind does not go rancid. So wheat doesn't go rancid. You can keep it for a very long time. Um, it only starts to have a problem once you grind it. So I will buy 40 to 50 pounds of wheat berries at a time and then grind them into flour as we need it. And I keep that downstairs in food grade buckets. And it's just been a good storage um, option for us. I know not everybody has that option. I have some friends who purchase their grains and choose to store them in the freezer, which is fine as well, but I just buy mine. I put them in buckets and use as needed. For things that um, I know have a tendency or can go bad, like oats and um, already milled flowers, I don't buy a ton at a time. So I do keep some organic white flour downstairs for things like cakes, um, that are for special occasions because my family just prefers white flour for that. And gravy, we eat a lot of gravy. We also prefer gravy with white flour. I don't use a ton of it, but I do keep a little bit. And then we don't buy a ton of oats at one time, even though I have two buckets. I don't buy like 100 pounds at a time because it takes us a while to go through it. Um, but I do have usually two buckets of oats going at a time. So I usually end up buying grains, so hard white wheat, hard red wheat, soft white wheat, spelt, those are our favorites. And then I will keep a little bit of white organic flour downstairs, sugar. So I also like to purchase sugar in bulk and I will keep that in a bucket and then oats. So my favorite places to purchase from, when I'm driving through Georgia, I will stop at Bread Baker's and um, stock up there if I have a vehicle that I'm driving home. But if I'm not in um, Woodstock, Georgia, then I have also purchased from Honeyville, H-O-N-E-Y-V-I-L-L-E -L -L -E, online. I've purchased from Amazon online. And then now locally, I am part of a food co-op and we go together and do bulk buys and I have been getting my grain there for the last few months. So it's been, it's, I mean, I've been doing it now for eight year, eight to 10 years buying grains in bulk and keeping them in food grade buckets and haven't had a problem. So what I want to do now is actually take you downstairs and show you my buckets and how I have them sitting and just kind of give you a little bit of a visual. Okay, so here we are in my basement and this is my five gallon bucket storage. I pulled one out so I can show you how my lid works. But this is my basement storage where I keep a lot of my dry goods because I do like to purchase in bulk for our family of six. It just makes the most sense for us. So these are my buckets. If you'll see up here on this shelf, I also like to use glass jars. So I keep my beans mostly in glass jars up here on this shelf because we don't go through as many beans as we go through grains. So I'll usually just buy a few pounds at a time and keep those up there in glass jars. But down here are my buckets. You'll see I've got different size ones. Um, so it's ranges from five to six gallon buckets and I have a little bit of millet right there. I don't go through a ton of that, but I do have, so this red and blue um, bucket, lidded bucket on the end are both oats because we go through a bunch. Um, so let me show you how this works. So the reason we go, this is a, a bucket, whoops, pulled it up too far. This is a five gallon bucket with a gamma seal lid. So that just means nothing gets in and nothing gets out. Well, what does nothing get out mean? Bugs, guys. <laughs> Sometimes um, a batch of grain can get buggy. And so 
if you don't have a lid on it and it gets buggy, it can get out and get into all of your food. Whereas if you have this type of lid on your storage bucket and you have um, a batch of grain that happens to get bugs, it's contained, but then also um, you can't, you don't have things getting in it, which is mostly why I have gamma seal lids is to keep things from trying to get into my buckets. So they work like this. You unscrew them and pop them out. And then here's my oats down in here. And then, and it will catch. And then you're done. And that's all. Mine are dusty on top because they stay down here. But let's see, over there, the orange is hard white wheat. That is soft, nope, that's, um, yes, yeah, soft white wheat. The next one is spelt. This one is, can't remember. And this is white flour and the white one on the end here. Actually, I think maybe one of those is sugar. So I will also buy sugar in bulk. And then the red and the blue here on the end are both rolled oats. Um, and that's just a little bit of a look at my bucket. So it really is that easy because I've told you guys this a million times, if it's hard, I wouldn't do it. It is as easy as purchasing in bulk, keeping in buckets, and I literally just go downstairs and get it whenever we need it. And I understand that there are a lot of people who don't have that extra storage. I was raised in a house with a basement and Barry and I have always lived in houses with basements just based on where we live. But I do understand that sometimes people just don't have that extra space. So if you don't have the extra space to have you know, large buckets, you can always buy in smaller quantities and invest in a deep freezer if you want to keep things in there or just buy um, several pounds at a time. I know a lot of our local Amish stores here will sell grains and oats and sugars in um, batches, kind of like bulk batches, but not large bulk, where you could buy smaller amounts at a time. But for those of you who are curious, that's my buckets, that's how I store them, that's where they are, that's why I do it, and that's what's actually inside my buckets. So, who knew I'd get online one day and talk about what's inside my bucket, but there you go.